Oh God, it gives me the chills. Mm. Oh God, this smells like a sexy ass man. Oh. Listen, if a man smells like this, you would be in danger in a good way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get the party going. This smells so good. The hurricane passed us by, so yay. I gotta catch up on my vlogs and I have to edit my day three of my vacation. Um, hopefully I'll get those up today, but I'm home, I'm chilling. We had the day off. Gotta go to work tomorrow. So um, if I feel like it, I'll open up my Amazon packages because I do have a lot of stuff. But my hair's looking pretty good today. And of course I have nowhere to go, no one to see it, but y'all see it, so good morning. <laughs> All right, we over here for an unboxing. I'm gonna try to make this quick because I don't have that much space left on my phone. I need to clear off some of my old um, recordings. And you're gonna keep hearing sniffing in the background because my dog wants to go outside. He likes to just go in and out and in and out and in and out all day and you can't do that. So he literally has his face in the corner of the door and he keeps sniffing. Um, so some of the stuff I bought a while ago and some of this stuff um, is literally coming out of the box today. So, um, just gonna show you all the stuff that I have bought but I haven't used yet. <laughs> um, like, boom, I bought these earrings. I saw them on my recommended on Amazon. I thought they were cute. So I don't know when I'm gonna wear these or if I'm even gonna keep them, but they're kind of funky for now, we'll see. If I go another like week or so, and cause I bought these like a week ago, if they still sit in the box for another week and I don't use them, I'll return them. If I remember, a lot of stuff I end up keeping because I just forget. Um, lash lift. Y'all have saw me do the the eyelash uh, perm before. So that kit is gone. So I bought another one. This is not the Instagram brand. This one is just off of Amazon. So we're going to give this a try. I did find that uh, I showed y'all that I did glue on lashes the other day they lasted for a couple days but not that long i'm a wild sleeper like i sleep like a baby i roll i toss and turn i rub my eyes and that's just not conducive to last lashes so the perm kind of works best for me um y'all know i'm on a, a nail journey so i got some more little um e-file bits i use these a lot i don't use um the proper bits because i'm not a nail tech i'm just a DIY and here comes the dog knocking stuff around get out the way get out the way I only have like 30 minutes left worth of filming that I can do um what else do I have here oh this is a little filter for my um nail dust I have a little dust collecting fan so these are the the filters I bought replacements the pack the two came in the pack so I already put one in my um my dust collector this is the other one but that's what they look like this this is a electric lighter. I got this off of Wish, actually. Let's light up this candle. It's fun. All right, one bag down of oh, this. Oh, oh, speaking of candles, this is not from Amazon. This is actually from my candle company, SOH Melbourne. I love these candles. That's what this one is. This candle is Collins Street. Um, I like it. I just bought it because it was on sale a while back. But this, this is my baby. So this is another wish purchase. Looks like a comb. It is a comb, but it's also a knife. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin. She's obsessed with knives. And now I'm kind of joining the knife bandwagon because now that I'm getting skinny, I got to protect myself. I'm going to pause this while I, uh, I don't have that much space on my phone. So I'm going to pause while I cut this open. Now, if you couldn't tell from the name, SOH Melbourne is Australia. So this is an Australian company. So they had this box taped for dear life. But this is nice packaging. A little receipt, a little card. 
and more paper, more paper, more paper. Oh shoot! Oh, you know what? I thought I only had two candles. It's I got three candles in here. These are all my Mr. Moss candle. This is my favorite. This thing smells so sexy. Um, it was buy buy two get one free. And these candles are are quite pricey. I'm not gonna tell you how much they cost, but you can look it up yourself if you want to. Um, so buy two get one free is actually a great deal. Um, I like symmetry. Right now I have I just have the one candle and the one cloche. This cloche is also SOH Melbourne. They don't make these anymore though, and I want one more because I want one for each each side of my unicorn. But I'll stick with the one for now. Let's get this candle open. So this is the candle. Oh God, this smells so good. Ah! Oh! I'm not even being dramatic, y'all. This, oh God, it gives me the chills. Whew. Mm. Oh God, this smells like a sexy ass man. Ah. Oh. Listen, if a man smells like this, you would be in danger in a good way. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get the party going. This smells so good. Now, I don't know if I, it's because I just had these sitting up in the box uh, by the front door for a long time, but see, there's quite a bit of wax residue on here. I mean, the candle is intact, but something, something went on in here. This isn't a bad thing, but it's... um. It's probably my fault because, again, they've been sitting just next to the front door for literally months. But this box is very cute. I'm keeping it until it starts to get annoying. All right, whipping the knife out again. This knife is coming in handy. Y'all know, normally I just rip into these boxes like a savage. Now I'm a savage with a knife. got what even is this oh this is let's tape this is more earrings okay these are little more little fashion earrings Cute. Oh, I like these. I like these more than the silver ones. These are more like delicate but fun. Oh yeah, she's cute. We like her. I think the silver ones are going back. I don't even wear silver that much anyway, but I just thought they were funky. Maybe I'll get these in silver too. What else is in here? Um oh, paraffin wax. Okay, so <laughs> that's perfect. This big old box. Uh, I got a paraffin wax kit for the hands and for the feet and for the elbows because you know I am I'm calling this age at 41 I'm calling this my middle age batty era like I'm really focusing I mean not like I haven't been but I'm putting an even more concentrated effort into my looks um I have been reluctant to tell y'all this but I, I gotta go ahead and 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 confess I have been on the Manjaro bandwagon. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is the semaglutide Ozempic gang. But Manjaro is its own brand. It's a little bit different than the other ones. Um, oh yeah, confession. I've been taking it for about six months now. It's only been about the last two months where it's really been working. They started me off at a low dose um, for the first three three months I was on a low dose like five percent or something to that effect and nothing was happening and it was really annoying me um because I tried it in the past and I was on that low dosage and nothing happened but it was so expensive because my insurance wasn't paying for it but now my insurance is paying for it and they worked me up I'm on like the 7.5 now and it's actually working um I've lost about 25 pounds since they put me on the higher prescription and I'm very happy, y'all. I'm really happy. You know, I'm still working out. I'm still trying to eat right. Not um, 
but I'm not controlled by my diet anymore. And it's just, it's so liberating. And I'm praying that even when I get to my goal weight and I get off the medication, that it stays that way. Like I'm really hoping that my body reaches a new set point, that I get my whatever mental blockage together um, and that I can get to a weight that I can maintain and just really um, enjoy my life. So that's a little rant in between me opening these packages here but I'm just I'm in a really great place right now like y'all my my career is going well my finances are slowly rebuilding when I say slowly I mean slowly because you see me in here shopping I haven't gotten my shopping under control I kind of replaced one vice with another um you know I'm not eating out as much but I'm still spending my money somewhere so you know work in progress but I'm, I'm happy <laughs> I'm happy with this progress that this work is doing okay there we go next Next package, uh, mosquito repellent. You know, it's getting to that season where it's actually bearable to be outside. So um, I ordered some new pillows for my chairs outside. The iguanas aren't as ravenous as they used to be. I have a, a little stray cat here who now keep, keeps the critters under check. So I treat him right, he treats me right, and we got a nice little symbiotic relationship going on. So these are mosquito armbands. I haven't tried them yet. Um, so they come in packages. Oh, the citronella is hitting me in the face. Still can't get it open. Me and this little knife are going to have a good time. Here we go. So, yeah, the citronella is strong. So you just pop these on and you keep the mosquitoes away. And they smell nice. Hopefully, if you don't have any, hopefully you don't have any allergies or anything like that. So anyway, this is for, this is for the good evenings outside, chilling, drinking some wine, keeping the bugs away. Uh, what's next? What do we have here? Uh, glucosamine. I think this and with turmeric and MSM, this is one of the little joint supplements. I'm looking for, I used to take the Jocko Joint Warfare, but they want like $70, $80 for that stuff now. No, thank you. So this is allegedly the same thing. We're going to try, I've tried two or three different brands now of joint supplements. Nothing works as good as the Jocko, I'll be honest. Um, but if I can't find an alternative, then I'll go back to, I'll go back to them. This is uh, wax beads. This is just regular wax for body hair. I gotta get these armpits. Oh, you can't see them with this dress. But these, these armpits are atrocious. We got um, more nail bits for my drill. Um, so, these are ceramic nail bits. Only other ones I have are the diamond nail bits. But I, it takes me too long to get my polish and stuff off of my nails. So, I've been looking for alternatives to speed that process up because right now it takes me like an hour to prep my nails and I need for that prep to take like 10-15 minutes um more nail stuff more nail polish which what is this this is glitter cat eye uh this is another nail bit this is the only clean bit this is the one that it gets around the cuticles without jacking your nails up um which one is this this is more gel polish what color is this i think this is like a mustard yellow color this actually this is the one i'm going to do my nails next i'll open this up so i can show you i need to do my nails probably this weekend i'll do them because the next two weeks are going to be intense events and even though this red still looks good hasn't grown that much my nails kind of jump out there so by next week i'm going to have like an inch of a new growth and we don't want that Yeah, this is kind of like a nice fall orangey mustard kind of. It's looking more orange than I thought it was. But either way, pumpkins, you know. Tis the season. All right, what's next? Okay, oh, these are... I know what this is. These are UV glasses. These aren't sunshades. You know, I like, I really love my shades, but these are for, I got a, an at-home little IP laser hair removal thingy. I bought during the pandemic 
and maybe used one time, but your girl has got to use it. Cause another thing I'm taking, in addition to the Manjaro, I'm also taking Minoxidil to help with hair growth. And when I tell you that Minoxidil, not the topical one, um, the, the oral kind of prescription, it has made the hair all over my body grow. Like the hair on my head a little bit, I mean, my, my, I never really had a problem with hair growth. I have a problem with hair breakage, but the hair growth everywhere else, good God. <laughs> I am a hairy beast. So yeah, it's time for me to start making that laser uh, pay for itself. Plus, I told you that I can't do the laser hair removal at my old esthetician anymore because their machine broke. I found another doctor up in Parkland. It's a black lady, but Parkland is just too far and it's too inconvenient. I can't just pop over there. My old place is literally like a half a mile from my house and also walking distance like and I live very close to work too so it's nothing for me to just pop over there for bing 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 and I'm I'm out I can't just go to Parkland it's 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 a a trek and a plan and I've already had to cancel my appointment twice and so that's another big reason why I do a lot of stuff at home it's just because Keeping appointments and stuff are inconvenient. That's all that's in here. I also have to check these packages too because sometimes I throw things away and don't realize it. More nail stuff. These are just little brushes to do um, nail art. The thing is, I want to start playing around and doing more designs and stuff, but the nail prep takes me so long that I get tired when it comes down to actually doing the nail designs. Um, so yeah, once I make that, the, the prep part faster, I can actually spend more time playing with the nail art. No idea what this is. Oh, paraffin wax liners for hands and feet. These are just the little, the little plastic, plastic gloves and stuff for when I do my paraffin waxes. So yeah, she, she's gonna be cute and she's gonna be soft and supple. I am chasing my dreams. I already showed you. I opened a shampoo the other day. I showed you that real quick. Um, and I really actually really do like that Orbe shampoo. And I'm getting ready to wash my hair again. Um, wake up and be radiant. What is this? Hair health treatment. Trustable hair repair. What is this? Oh, this is a bonnet. You know, normally I just wear those satin lined, um, satin line caps but they've been like really rubbing on my my edges and the back of my hair i've noticed so this and they also um yeah so this is just soft all the way around and you can tie it tight i'm not gonna put it on until i wash my hair I love the color. Y'all know I love, clearly, I love this dusty rose color. Yeah, she is taking better care of herself. And a new brush. A little bit of a softer brush because I've been... I've been going a little too hard on my hair. I need to soften up a little bit. And I like that this has a little rat tail so I can do my parts. Because as y'all see, I don't comb my hair that much because my combs are knives. <laughs> oh, oh, this is dog food. I already know from all the, all the noise it's making. Yeah, with this hurricane coming around the corner, um, I decided to just go ahead and order the dog food going to the pet store so that's that's my my old man his little senior food we're almost done what's this uh oh Screen protectors for the phone. No, I told you I didn't know screen protectors. I already pulled my old one off, so that's why this video has come out as clear as it is. This is, this is a control slip. Yeah, so I, um, 
you know, we, we around here, we, we snatching the waist. This is a control slip just to keep things nice and tight because we are getting a little flabby. Even though I work out, you know, I've got a, a skin situation. I was heavy for a long time. But that's okay. We need to hurry together. Um, what's this? Hair dye. Since I already bought this, I'm going to use it, but I'm going to change brands because I told y'all this this color is just not catching these baby hairs. I shouldn't be this gray in my hairline. It works everywhere else, but it's just not, it's not catching right through here. And that's the part I care about the most, quite frankly. All right, we're done with this. We got one more here. hair products all right so i'm gonna little or be crazy and this stuff ain't cheap either no. chill no. this is mirror rinse glass hair treatment we are no. going to use this today because no. i I'm, it's time for a trim too um no. No. shut up no. let me pause until no. he figures his life out all right, next up, this is the anti-humidity spray because the girl likes to frizz. And I want to do more like uh, roller sets and stuff like that. So it looks like a, looks like a hairspray. I don't think it's hard. I think it's just shake on, shake, spray on dry styled hair to finish and hold. So it is a hairspray, but it's anti-humidity. So I'm gonna use this when I do my roller sets and stuff. All right, that's it for those packages. I got a big one down here. I also ordered a a new fan. Um, this is a Dyson fan, but it's a, it's a fan and heater. Because I have a Dyson fan in my room now, as y'all already know, but it's just a fan. And QVC had this one on sale for $200, and it was on five Easy Pays. So that's pretty cheap. And Easy Pay is just once a month payment. <laughs> now, even though it's not even a hint of cold outside i do need to open this up and test it out because i have a bad habit of not opening things until i want to use them and then if there's a problem with it it's too late to return it so because if y'all have seen my i hate uh rev air video then you know that i will sit on stuff and not use it and then and then i'm out of luck when i find out it doesn't work so anyway that's the fan here 200 bucks can't beat that like cannot beat that these things go for five six hundred dollars um yes so now the piece de resistance the wig let's open her up another cute little box so this which wig is this um oh they sent some some junk in here too let's let's look at that we got some press on nails this is not my style i've got a co-worker though who likes stuff like this let me see if she wants it we got a a wig grip I've never used these before. We'll try it. And we got a HD wig cap. This is a U-part wig. The one they keep advertising that um, it's a no-leave-out U-part. So let's look at these tracks and see. Okay, this hair is... All right, 
Looks a lot like my hair. I don't know if this dust is fly. I don't know if this dust is coming off this wig or flying around my house. You see all these particles flying in the air? Um, so here, so the wefting, this looks like regular wig wefting. I don't know how natural that's gonna look. We'll play around with it, but if I cut this these parts, then I can't return it. So when I wash my hair, um, I'm gonna put this on, see how it looks. Cause my dream is just like a wig that actually looks real that I can just pop on and go. This is this is the dream. I thought it would look more natural up here than, than it's looking right now. But let's see what we can do. I have another U-part wig. Y'all seen me struggle with it. I just wear it as a half wig because I can't get that part right. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we're done with our unboxing. I got a whole mess to clean up. And we're going to start doing some beauty treatments around this piece. I to pick up in the middle of the night. As usual, what time is it? 8.50. We riding. You like him in his little kente, kente bib. We ethnic around here. <laughs> this is sleepy time weather. Do you see this sky? It looks like snow and that's just rain. A new company has taken over our cafeteria in the building. So this little side salad and these five little, as my dad would call these pigeon wings, was $12 plus a drink that I didn't necessarily want, but you know, I paid for it. Um, yeah, they got to do better. And I had to wait a very long time. And there was a whole queue because they are just not set up for the service. In addition to my many, many myriad talents, workforce and entrepreneurship is one of my areas. And oftentimes companies jump out there and they win bids for projects that they're incapable of keeping up with. So they don't have the staff, but the manpower or the resources to actually meet the needs of the contract that they got. But they need the contract so they can make more money and it's kind of a catch-22 for small businesses. And I think that's what this company has gotten into. They jumped out here. They got this contract. They probably underbid. And they can't meet the demand of this organization. Because we have a lot of people turning through this building. Not just folks who work here, but it's open to the public. So it's not just us who come through the cafeteria. And three people, it's just not going to cut it. All right. We over here um, somewhere looking for the, the casino. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Hold on, let me figure out where I'm going for. I think I figured it out. This is the Big Easy Casino. This used to be the Mardi Gras. I haven't been here since they renamed it, but I had dinner with one of my uh, little young co-workers, former co-workers. She don't work with me anymore, but you know, gotta stay in touch with the churns. Um, and she said she never been to a casino, so here we are. No luxury. All right, Let's try again. So far, nothing. <laughs> You know where I'm going to the gym. I have really been struggling with this whole gym situation for the past several weeks. I just, I just don't want to go, man. I haven't gone to the gym more than twice a week in at least three weeks, and that's ridiculous. I was going four, sometimes five days a week, and now I can barely hit two. <sighs> I gotta get my shit together. I got to. But anyway. I'm going. I had to pre-book this class uh, or else I wouldn't have made it. But I don't want to go. I don't want to. Oh my God. Do you see this face? 
these sunken in eyes, this soaking wet shirt. That was harder than it should have been. I, I feel like I've gotten weaker. I say that every day, don't I? It's getting ready to pour down rain. The sky is gray. Um, I'm gonna go home, take a nice cold shower, as close as I can get to a thermal plunge. <laughs> and then I'm gonna drink some wine. I feel like day drinking. I'm gonna drink some wine. I'm gonna drink my wine from the cruise because I never drank that. I'll tell you how it tastes. Today's hair is giving IT crowd, but I can dig it. Oh, you're taking pictures of the food? Mm -hmm. No, a video. You know, my Vlogtober. I'm feeling skinny tonight, so I had to check in. I'm gonna compare this to last time I was in here and, and took a video of myself. I'm gonna do a side by side. But you see, the waist is wasting. Well, I'm about to call it a night, y'all. I totally forgot to give you some footage of me and my cute outfit. The only uh, picture I took was my reflection in the window, which wasn't even that good. But I put a little effort in today. Believe it or not, I had some powder on, but I sweated off. Um, we got some eyeliner and some mascara and some lipstick. And that's the extent of what you're going to get from me as far as makeup, because I perspire too much. It's just not worth the effort. But I do like makeup. These two bags contain $110 worth of groceries mostly salads and frozen stuff and a little treat for me i had a long day but um it's over now i'm still debating if i'm gonna go to the gym because i'm tired i don't feel like it um i may i may I haven't completely abandoned that idea yet this necklace i showed y'all this before i wore this a few weeks ago this is my little links from rome i was jangling like somebody's dog today every time i walked around in my event <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's it for today um i if i remember i'll um do a haul but this isn't an impressive haul this is a convenience haul <laughs> yeah i don't have anything to talk about i'm just kind of rambling this is just a check-in it's thursday the october 17th so we're more than halfway through vlogtober and i've filmed about as much as I thought I would. Y'all, do you see my reflection back there? It's because it's dark outside. It's nighttime. It's 7.04 and I'm still here because I have been running events all week. I haven't been able to do my actual work because I have deliverables outside of the events that I work, but nobody seems to care. And yes, I'm, I'm kind of bitter because I had plans tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to wrap this, this thing up the cleaning people are here running their vacuums taking out trash and doing what they got to do looking at me like why are you here on a friday night loser yeah.